Hello students we are continuing with our fourth lesson let's understand what are the four basic ways of using sentences categorized as the first category is assertive or declarative sentence assertive or declarative sentence represent the need to make a statement here description given for assertive or declarative sentence is it makes a statement gives some information or maybe you can express an opinion or even make a promise this is what assertive or declarative sentence is used for it generally ends with a full stop these sentences can be affirmative or negative another another important point to be noted here is you can say something positive about someone or something negative about it it doesn't matter whether the sentence is affirmative or negative it is a statement next up is an example for assertive or declarative sentence first example i like to play cricket here you are informing the people that you are liking is to play cricket i don't like to play cricket now this is a negative expression of the same it is a negative assertive sentence next one we have that you are giving the sun rises in the east the next example this is an informative rain today this is an opinion that you are expressing about the rains that day next example i promise to study well here you are making a promise of studying well those are the examples of assertive or declarative sentence the second category we have interrogative sentence interrogative sentence as we had seen in the second is to make sentences to ask question this is what is interrogative sentence interrogative means you are going to make question we use the sentence to ask question it generally ends with question mark question mark as shown in the slide all the questions whatever may be the type of question that you are asking all would come under this category now let's see some examples first one how are you here we are intending to find out the well being of a person or more than one person it is ending with question mark as shown in the example the next example what is your name here your intention is to know the person's name that's why you are asking the person what his name is last example where do you live again you are trying to find out where the person is living that's why it is an interrogative sentence now our next category is imperative sentence it is used to give a command and order make a request give advice 
give directions or instructions. These sentences again end with a full stop but they are different from assertive or declarative sentence because assertive sentences are generally just a statement but here a specific idea is being expressed that is either you are commanding requesting advising directing or instructing that is why imperative sentences are different from assertive or declarative sentences examples are first one please bring me a glass of water here we are requesting the person to bring you a glass of water the request is being made that is why it is an imperative sentence next example bring the ball here an order is given to bring the ball next example you should study well here an advice is given to the person that he must study well these are the examples of imperative sentences the last category fourth one that we are going to study is exclamatory sentence these type of sentences express strong emotions such as surprise joy anger pain happiness etc these sentences generally start with how or what and end with an exclamation mark one thing that is noticeable about exclamatory sentence is that the verb is often left out let's see some examples first example what a lovely day here you are expressing your joy over the loveliness of the day you are so happy that the day is so lovely and you are expressing your joy using this type of sentence you can see that it is starting with what and ending with an exclamation mark similarly the next example is what a surprise here the emotion of surprise is being expressed and that's why we say that what a surprise starting a sentence with what and ending with an exclamation mark now notice this that there is no verb here again as specified earlier words are generally omitted